like your style Put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile Girl I swear for you I'd run the world, I'd run the miles The way you look at me I think I'm going insane Right guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is a bit of an intro clip to my month long stint of Muay Thai training here on Phuket in Thailand. I've tried to make this video probably five or six times in the last five minutes. I start rambling, I think fuck it, I'm gonna turn it off. Look, I'm a bit out of practice and I'm a bit low on confidence. And that's what this trip is about guys, I'm here I've uh, thrust myself into the world of, of, of Muay Thai, mixed martial arts, because I have wanted to do it for years, but also I'm really struggling uh, emotionally at the moment and mentally as far as my confidence goes. I'm fine behind a camera when I'm talking to my subscribers, my viewers, um, you know, my friends. But in person, I lack confidence big time. Even just talking, you know, I'm mean, talking to someone, I'm, I'm, I'm over analyzing things. I'm thinking, they don't like me. I'm thinking, why did I say that? I'm thinking, I'm boring. I've got nothing to say, you know what I mean? Putting so much effort into my YouTube channel over the last two years has taken away you know, things from, from, my, my, in real, from my real life. It really has, it's taken energy, it's taking confidence, um, and so, you know, I, I knew that for me to try and get that back, and for me to sort of try and just start over, I had to do something drastic, and that's what I'm here for. So today is day number one of my month-long stay here in Thailand, and my month-long training package that I've just gone and paid for at Tiger Muay Thai. I don't know what to expect. I'm nervous. I, I, I'm a bit overwhelmed. I just went down there this morning, um, about half an hour before my first boxing class. It took me about 15 minutes to get registered. It took me another 15 minutes to actually um, pick out my gear. And so by the time the boxing class started, you know, if people will arrive 10 minutes early. I, I had this big bag of gear with me. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. So I was like, you know what, stuff it. I'm not gonna rush. I'm gonna go back to my hotel room make this video, calm myself down, show you guys what I've got, and then head back down there for the classes this afternoon. This is scary, this is not easy man, like I said before, and you know I'll mention it here, reaction videos is basically what my channel's been, been based on for the last two years, but before that it, it wasn't. Before that this channel was about me, it was about what I enjoyed, it was about my life, I made vlogs, I talked about my family, I talked about fitness and bodybuilding. But as soon as I started that Rugby Player React series, that's all it was and that's all I've put my effort into. That, that has consumed me, guys. My YouTube channel and that series of videos has absolutely consumed me. And at this point, I am completely and utterly sick of it. I can't even watch a sports game anymore properly. <laughs> it's completely changed my psyche when it comes to sports. And I love sports, I love athletics, I love speed, power, Anything, physical, training, bodybuilding, I love it. But for the last two years, I've not been able to, to, to just relax and watch a sports game and enjoy it for what it is. I've always thought in the back of my mind, oh, I should be making reaction video to this. And it's just wrong. It is absolutely wrong. So at this point, I've made 620 odd reaction videos. I've tasted a bit of internet fame, you know what I mean? Like back when my, when my, my channel was at 1,000 subs or 5,000 subs, it was getting there, but I was still getting those, you know, two, 300 views per, per video, maybe 10 likes. It was great for me at the time, but it wasn't, it wasn't true, you know, internet fame or anything like that. And I think, I think my ego really fueled this channel um, over the last two years. I wanted more viewers, I wanted more subscribers, I was absolutely obsessed with the analytics. But the fucked up thing is, is that now, with the way that my confidence is, I can't even read my comments. So I'm putting all of this effort into my videos, all of this effort into my thumbnails, titles, everything like that, everything but 
actually receiving the feedback from my viewers and it's because I'm too anxious about it. If I read one negative comment, it ruins my day. Because I do put a hell of a lot of effort into my YouTube channel. So guys, that is a little bit of an intro. I'm going to show you guys what I just got. I bought a full MMA package, a full um, Muay Thai package and MMA. I've got uh, shin guards, wraps, gloves, two t-shirts, two pairs of shorts, a mouth guard, and I think that's about it. So I'm going to show you guys that. It cost me around about 400 Australian dollars. I was going to go to, you know, independent shops down the road or wherever to try and buy my gear, but I was like, nah, you know what, I want Thai Muay Thai um, branded stuff, and I'm just going to buy it from here, who cares? So I paid for a month's training, and, which was about $800 Australian, and I paid for uh, a full kit of, of training gear, which was about 400 So total layout today is 1200 this hotel that I'm staying at is about two kilometers away from Tiger Muay Thai. I wanted to do that because I wanted to be able to come back here at night and just chill, you know, away from the hustle and bustle. If you're too close to that street, I think, you know, early in the morning it's, it's noisy and it's noisy till late at night as well. So um, this is a nice quiet area. I'm really happy with this unit. I've been here for two nights. I uh, got here on Saturday. Today's Monday and it's the first day of training. So like I said, I went down there this morning. Um, I was a bit flustered, honestly, overwhelmed, nervous. I saw people training, I was like, fucking hell, they look good. You know, shredded. Um, it very intimidating, but this is something I had to do, you know, and if I, if I didn't thrust myself into this alone, then it was never going to happen. I've, I've been dreaming of coming here, you know, and, 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 and the thing is, is that dreaming's all good, but we want to make our dreams reality at the end of the day and this is this is literally making a dream of mine for the last two three years a reality and you've got to work hard you've got to save your money and then pay for your tickets pay for your hotel pay for your training i mean i just laid out 1200 bucks i mean a lot of people don't even have 1200 bucks but i've worked hard throughout my life um i've saved and so i can come and do these things so right we're not talking about money here today, we're talking about confidence, man. We're talking about confidence. We're talking about raising my confidence level. And I can only, I can only imagine how I'm going to feel at the end of this month. But first, let's have a look at the gear. Okay. So here I was down there with no sports bag. I had this fucking big shopping bag full of stuff. I'm like, I ain't going to stay here with this. I've got to go back to the hotel room. I've got to get a sports bag and I'm just going to take what I need down to Tiger for each class. So we've got shin pads. There's two in here. I'm not going to put them on, but I do like them. Shin pads? Are you serious? Am I going to be checking kicks? Am I going to be kicking myself? I mean, I can't fucking wait to be honest. I've got a powerful kick. I've got a powerful leg and I can't wait to, to, to use it. You know what I mean? Um, for martial arts, which is something I've dreamt of. But anyways, we've got the gloves. Uh, 16 ounce gloves, I believe. <laughs> uh, big fuckers. And um, they've got three different color colorways, and I chose this one. So, we've got those. I knew there was something I forgot. We've got a towel, a small towel, which I'll use. Um, two t-shirts. This one, and this one. I don't think you have to wear those, but I probably will. We've got two pairs of Muay Thai shorts. That one, and this one, which I really like. We have two pairs of wraps, red and black which I'm hoping they're going to teach me how to do because I have no idea how to wrap my hands properly. And last but not least, we've got a mouth guard. So I'm going to set that mouth guard in with uh, boiling water. I haven't had to do that for a couple of years. Last time I molded a mouth guard was for a game of rugby league back in April of 2018. And that was one month before I made my first ever Rugby Player Reacts video. And you know what guys? 
<laughs> you know what? Another reason why I have to stop making these reaction videos and calling them rugby player reacts is because I'm not actually a rugby player anymore. I don't play rugby anymore. In fact, I don't play any sports at the moment. And that's another thing. You know, this, this, I've just, I've just fucking lost the plot, guys. I've absolutely lost the plot. I am not the man I used to be. <sighs> so we've got to sort this shit out, man. And you guys are coming along for the ride. So, I have a class in 25 minutes down at Tiger. It's yoga. And that's going to be my first taste of, of the place. A nice, nice and easy introduction. After that, I'm going to hit the weight room that I've got there. I'm going to check it out. And then at 3 o'clock till 5 is going to be my first Muay Thai session. Beginner class, but there is going to be some sparring involved, apparently. So, um, I missed the one this morning. It's, they've got uh, a Muay Thai classes at 8 till 10 and 3 till 5 each day. There's a beginner, intermediate, and advanced class. I will be hitting the beginner class, and I can't fucking wait. So I'm gonna go and get a sports bag from somewhere. Um, what should I do? Actually, I guess I've got a bag there. I'm gonna unpack that, I'm gonna pack it up with all my Muay Thai shit, plus my phone, plus a pair of shoes, Passport, money, sunglasses, sunscreen, water, and I'll see you guys when I get back here this evening. We're doing this shit. I lied, I'm back. I'm back. So we've got an empty bag now. Shin guards. <laughs> I'm nervous, man. I am a nervous wreck. Until I hit that pad for the first time, I'm going to be an absolute nervous wreck, but it's got to be done, man. This is the kind of thing that you'll think about over and over again. You'll get anxious about it and it just won't happen. But it's happening, baby. All right. Uh, we'll take the uh, black shorts. We'll go... Um... No, nah, actually, I like these ones. Camo shorts. We will go the black T-shirt. Gloves. Uh, wraps. Towel, mouth guard, water, and I think we're good. Okay, now I'm going. I'll see you guys this afternoon to talk about how it went. Bye.